for motor 1 and motor 5 it's basically going to be red on red yellow on yellow black and black just like so so you'll be able to mount the motor like that so the same thing goes with motor 5 which is the bottom connect red wire to red wire yellow wire to yellow wire and black wire to black wire now you're set all you need to do now is to screw in the motors onto the motor arm for each base plate it requires three screws one here one here and another one over here so essentially there are six holes in here but you put screws on every other one I don't know they're probably trying to save screws be best if you know comes with six screws that way we're certain that the motors won't go anywhere tighten it likewise do not over tighten like so so the top is secured now we're going to secure the bottom so it should look something like this again it's three screws one two three and the one here is one two three and the wires got to tucked under the motor like so and neatly make sure the base plate hugs the motor mount no space as well except for these areas here there's there's grooves there right there so label M1 and M5 so you'll do this three more times okay so another thing is to make sure that you're not going to be confused later on which one is which um, make sure you label the, the wires for example this one is motor number one and power source number one label them number five so just get a small pen and mark mark that and or get a tape and mark the end like that so that way when you you're ready to attach all of these wires you'll know where it goes because once you've had all the tube the, the mounting arms it's gonna get confusing so it's always good to label things next step is remember these frame um, strengthener they call it or stiffener the longer one goes closer to the motor mount so it's gonna go over here and make sure on your arm motor arm the one with the screw screw hole farther from the end goes closest to this motor arm see the other one that's gonna go close mounted to the body has the screw hole uh, clo closer to the to the end of the arm now, what you need to do with this is you fish, in, fish it through, fish through all these wires, through the stiffener or strengthener as they call it, and it's, it's a good idea to put um, one set of wires on one side and you do the same with the other like so okay right 
there. See? Like that. Next step is the frame arm. You get the frame arm and also fish through these wires. You see how it goes now? I'm fishing it through here. So if we hadn't labeled the wires, how would you know which one is which once it comes out the other end? It's gonna be so confusing. You wouldn't know which one is which. So it's always a good idea to label these things. So there you go. Now we'll put this the strengthener. Make sure the holes, by the way, make sure the the holes in the strengthener lines up with this hole right here. So right there get it because that's where you're gonna mount the screws and you're gonna screw it in right there so oops okay now that you fish through the wiring you can attach the um, frame arm onto the motor mount and slip it in like so Make sure the hole lines up with that. See, it's hard to see in here, but uh, the video, but the, the the screw hole is lined up right there. Get it? By the way, I forgot to mention earlier. You see this part here? This one is a looks like it has a bigger hole because that's where the head of the screw is gonna end up being once it's. It's going to be recessed into that hole. That's the top side of this motor mount. If you look under there, you'll see the metal piece. That's the female uh, nut that's embedded in the motor mount. So that's the top side. I forgot to mention that earlier. So now we're going to put the screw through. It's a little tight down there. But See, oh, it's not lined up properly. Hang on. There you go, and it always helps if you try and poke it through a little bit. Oh, there you go. Now it's lined up. And we're ready to put our screw in. Go ahead, and there you go. So that's how you do it. If the holes doesn't quite line up, use this tool. I have this tool with this pointy end here. And all you do is you just kind of push it through and line it up. I mean, it wasn't quite lined up. So I'll make sure that the holes are lined up properly. Oh, and yeah, don't forget a washer. We need a washer over here. It goes in this at the top of the motor mount. Cool. Okay, so there you go. This is going to be a little tricky um, lining up those holes. I had a little bit of a hard time trying to line them. So you, after fishing the wire in, into here, it should look something like this before it goes into that the tube. So that's the tube. Line up the holes, and you're ready to go. Okay, to complete this assembly, you take the arm mount, and likewise fish through these wires through it, like so. There you go. Okay, now, um, make sure there, there is, I don't know if you can see it, but there is a, uh, uh, the logo of Air um, X, 
aircraft on here so if you're looking at your motor mount like this and you've labeled it like that that's the top part and so this logo here should also be at the top and the screws are gonna be on the side like so see line up these two holes this way okay you're not gonna miss it I think even if you you switch it around it still works but just so you don't get confused make sure you, 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 you use markers so that you're always gonna have you know the top portion is kind of like this one you have the bigger hole here um, and so that, that keeps it all um, in the the right order.